at uh, 430, 432, suddenly there's this, I, I, I never experienced, before I'm just talking, right? I'm just chatting with her. Then suddenly I, I hear this really, it's not like she woke up with eyes, hey, hey Robert, you know, uh, you know, it's not like that, okay? So, so, so don't get me wrong, huh? it's not like she woke up and say, uh, let's chat. Huh? It's I felt uh, this, this, uh, this uh, voice is telling me that, uh, and it start to chat with me. In fact, I can read some of it to you. Uh, the last 25 minutes was the most important, I, I blog about it. And, and it happened at 4.32, okay? This is the last 25 minutes of her life. So, and then I'm talking with her, okay? And I said, Brenda, I get it. Uh, uh, I, I've already stopped beating myself and feeling guilty. Well, what, what do you want others not to feel guilty too? And I'm crying for half an hour, right? So, uh, so I said, pass your message in, in Facebook. So I'm WhatsApping the, the team, huh? chiting, chiting. And then, uh, this, is, this is my understanding. So I said uh, to Brenda, I said, hey, you, you heard all our prayers and messages. Uh, and then, uh, then you are sending light to us. But I thought we are sending to you. So, uh, so I, I felt we were sending light to, to healing light to her. But it felt it's the other way around. And then I keep saying to the team, hey, can you update this? Uh, don't censor it, you know, just, just keep updating. So uh, then this is where Brenda start talking. She starts saying that you should celebrate my life and love and not death. And this is, this, is, this is a message for her to you, okay? So don't feel sad for me. This is what she's saying to you, okay? And I need to tell you on this. So pass your, uh, pass your love like to others. I don't need it. That's what she said. Pass your love like to others. I don't need it. It means I don't need it. It's, it's for, for others. Uh, so then she went on to say, as I'm one of your guardian angels. You need to let me go. And that's what she said to me. So I felt I was talking to, to her or, or, or her guardian angel version. So then uh, she said again, let me go. I want to go for a long time. This is 5.08 p.m. Then I said, Brenda, this is very painful for me to channel messages to others. Please talk directly to them. I'm talking to her, right? This is 5.11 p.m. See, then she answered this, Robert, you're my twin soul. You are part of me on earth. This is 5.13 p.m. Then I just say, I'm just an ordinary guy. And, uh, and yes, then she replied, yes, you're ordinary, but you wizard Chen, are you not? 5.15. So then I say, okay, okay, I surrender to God, 5.16 p.m. So uh, then I said to her, you look for unconditional love all your life, but I don't know how. 5.17 p.m. So I said to, to Chai Ting, you know, can you post all this, please? And then uh, Jean said, yes, yeah, posting, posting, posting. So, uh, so then I'm, I'm, I'm talking to, to the team. It's like, hey, she's, uh, yes, her soul and my soul is talking, okay? Because they don't know what's happening. So, so uh, 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 Chachi is saying, okay, 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 that's 519. So I said, don't censor, okay? So again, I said, okay, I surrender. I'm just your instrumental tool. This is what she wanted me to promise. Remember, I promised to bring her back in October and I did not fulfill. And this is what she wanted to hear at 5.20 p.m. She said, she said this to me, if not, I'm not going. And it's really loud, I'm not going, 5.22. I look at the nurse, I said, I said, what's happening, it's flat line. So yes, we have, actually the, the nurse was there for three solid hours. Her job was only to look where this, uh, that flat line will come. Because this is the medical thing. Once it's flat line, the, they either come to resuscitate, or if it's agreed upon, they will just announce the time of death. Uh, and she is the, the, the doctor is coming very slow. So I actually saw the time was 5.23 p.m. And that's when I SMS, I said time of death, 5.23. Uh, a little bit more, uh, they, then, then they asked us to, to leave. 
and and then I was crying my eyeballs out. And then later they came out and said, uh, you know, do you want do you want to to say goodbye to her and then leave, or do you want us to take out all the tubes? Because there's really a lot of tubes. So I said, take out all the tubes. Uh, I said, take 10 minutes. Turned out to be half an hour. So then I went. Uh, uh, the father signing all the death cert, and that's when uh, that's when I said my last goodbyes. Uh, and I was stroking her. There was there were actually there was there were still tears on the socket, so I wiped it off, and I stroked her. And and it was a I never hugged a cold body in my life. It was I I it was a really. Um, it was the toughest experience I ever had to go through in my life. To see my wife die uh, over 23 hours, 23 minutes. It, it, it. And it looks like uh, this is what I'm getting, that she wants me to help her heal people through, through her angelic ways. And, and I, this is what I signed up for. So it looks like that's what I'm doing, and that's all the questions. Do you have any question in us? Uh, I'm sorry, it's a bit emotional, uh, um, but uh, that's the truth as it is. You all breathing or, or, or not? Are you okay? <laughs> any questions? So this is really the last. Then, then, then really the next day, something happened that's different. Uh, when I was typing the obituary, she started to say she's, she's an angel of unconditional love. And I, I, actually, I didn't know. I was just typing. I'm wondering. My logical self said this. How come this, this weird thing? And then, and then the rest of the next few days, if you have been reading my blog, uh, I, I debated whether I was bipolar, grandiose belief, or it's not true. But you know what? She sent me an angelic sign. It's a, it's a Mark 6 number, which I bought uh, two hours. It's just for, f uh, for fun, I waited then that evening, uh, 5.23, she died. And then I was really tired in the canteen. Uh, my brother said, come and have lunch, uh, dinner. So at 7 o'clock or something, I, I went, walked to Wan Chai, Wan, Chai, uh, Wan Chai to Causeway Bay. And I went to 7-Eleven and, and I bought two tickets. And one of the tickets, uh, only in Boxing Day, I found out it's a birth number. It's 711. She's born the 7 April 1962. Now, for all of you, you don't know what it means. And it doesn't, see, uh, uh, angelic signs only mean to you, not, not, not to other people. For me, uh, it's everything she does is a 711. And for her to come up with a Mark 6 and say, I'm not cuckoo, and saying, hey, whatever you're seeing is true. And that's, that's my feeling. Uh, the chances of that is apparently 8,500 to 17,000 to get the odds on the first night to get 7-11 out of 6 numbers, out of 49. So she signed me a, I call it an angelic sign. Angelic sign is something that you see or, but it has to be significant, not just anything. So for me, uh, you know, I'm very, I've gone very from, before when I started, it was very spiritual to very, uh, to, to very scientific, very business, being CEO. So I, I, I will not accept anything unless it's really proven, technical, and then and 7-Eleven, that's kind of uh, very hard to dispute. So, uh, and, then, and, and then she's been talking to me since, that's it. And that's uh, my, a little bit of my new mission. That's all. Any question? Uh, some of you are concerned about me, uh, whether I went cuckoo. Uh, uh, I have to make some public statements uh, against the advice, but, but uh, I did. And uh, it seems to be the, the new mission. Uh, I, I fear nothing because, uh, because it's the truth. So, so you will see new things. So by the way, I'll move all this spiritual stuff into another blog in case some corporate people are, are offended and all that. So, uh, uh, but that's, if you want to read, you just read. Uh, it'll be my conversation with, with her as, as in the, the angelic form, that's all. Uh, that's it.